ओके हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल इम्प्लीमेंट आवर नेक्स्ट प्रैक्टिकल दैट इज प्रैक्टिकल नंबर सिक्स फ्रॉम पाइथन प्रोग्रामिंग दैट इज हियर वी विल इम्प्लीमेंट डिफरेंट ऑपरेशंस ऑन द लिस्ट मींस वी विल क्रिएट वन लिस्ट एक्सेस द एलिमेंट्स फ्रॉम द लिस्ट अपडेट द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ लिस्ट एंड डिलीट द लिस्ट सो लेट स्टार्ट This is practical number सिक्स from programming with Python subject. So first is practical related questions. So these are the questions given, six questions. You have to write down the answers and with example. So here I created one file. That file contains all the questions and answers. So first question is when to use list. so list is used for to preserve the sequence of data means user enters data one by one and we have to preserve this sequence then we can use list and this sequence we can use for our future purpose so for future we can use those data so that time we are using list data structure from python next question is second describe various list functions so here i written some functions of list so first is len function that returns the total elements that is length of your list count function that counts specific element from the list append function that can add new list or new element at the end of the list insert we can add new element in the list remove function we can delete or remove the element from the list then pop function here pop function uses it takes index as an argument and removes particular element stored on on that index if no index is given then last item is removed from the list then reverse function by using reverse function we can reverse the order of elements from the list so this is the answer of second question next next question so next is syntax here again sequence is given to question number is wrong that is this is actually third question write a syntax for method of sort the list so here i written sort function syntax we have to mention list name first and then by using dot operator we can call the sort method so this is the example here i copy this example and paste it into my program so here what will happen here i created one list having some elements 1 4 5 2 3 your list always enclosed within square bracket so these are the elements of the list and this is the list name then using list name i can call sort function of list so now this these are unsorted elements now it it will sort and stored back into list name that is n when i print this output then what will happen just check here my program name is a so a dot py so it will execute so just see the output 1 2 3 4 5 so my list is sorted now okay so this is the example so you have to write syntax of sort and here you can mention your program with output then next question is write a syntax for method to count occurrences of a list item in python here i written a syntax of count function this count can take one parameter one argument that is your particular element and you can perform this count on your list here i created one list and i want to count how many times 5 is stored in my list so here i mention 5 in the parameter so n dot count 5 means what it calculates total number of files stored in the n list so here my output is 3 then next question is 
how to concatenate list means he, we have two list and we want to concatenate that that is the meaning joining two list together so we can perform concatenate operation by using plus operator or extend function so this is the example of plus here i created one list name as a and second list is b then i created another c and that contains a and b concatenation when i print c then now here check this this is my list a and this is my list b then now it this whole list is stored inside new list that is c so here i use plus operator okay here this plus operator joins two list together then again another way is using extend function here i created same list a and b and here i perform a dot extend and here argument is given b means what after a your b will be joined so here these are the contents of a and here b is joined at the end so we will get new list in the a so a is updated having contents of b list then next question is justify the statement lists are mutable mutable means what we can change the element value from the list or we can modify the list element okay so here in the example i created one list having four elements 2 3 4 5 and here i printed this list a so first output is same 2 3 4 5 but i want to change the element which is stored at the second index which element stored at second index 0 index 2 1 index 3 and second index is 4 so 4 is removed and 100 is updated in the place of 4 then when i printed this list then now my output becomes 2 3 104 so now fourth element is a change right with 100 so this is the justification list is mutable we can change or modify the list then next is describe the use of pop operator in the list pop operator here i already mentioned the use of pop operator you have to write down this again this pop function pop function takes two argument right index index as an argument and removes and returns the element present in the given index or if you not mention the index number then automatically it remove last element from the list so see this example here i created one list having five values 1 2 3 4 5 and i want to pop the element which is stored at first location so one is stored at zero location and two is stored at first location when i printed this list so two is removed from the list so this pop print pop operation returns the second value right and then my list becomes 1 3 4 5 so now two is removed from the list when i not mention index number here then what is the last element in the list that is 5 so 5 is written and it will remove from the list so your list becomes 1 3 4 okay so next questions so this is my exercise first question is write a python program to sum all the items in the list here i perform the program here there are only two lines of code okay just see here i created one list name as a having these elements 10 20 30 40 50 and 100 and here when i perform i want to print first message sum of list elements equal to so this message is enclosed within double quotation sign and after comma i want to print the actual value of sum so you have to perform some function on the list a so what will happen it calculates this sum and prints over here so when i execute this so we will get sum of list so sum of list is 250 so this is the program and this one is the output of that program first then next program 
write a python program to multiply all the items in the list so here we have to multiply all the elements together so here i perform this program here i created one list a is equal to 2 3 4 5 and here i created one variable having value 1 initially here i perform this operation with the help of for loop so when my list contains elements one by one elements is accessed by i and that element is multiply with mul variable so first element is 2 current value of mul is 1 1 into 2 mul is updated with 2 the next element is access 3 so i is replaced with 3 what is the value of current value 2 mul value is 2 2 into 3 mul is updated with 6 so here 4 and 5 is also multiply with mul and you will get updated value of mul that is 120 so after execution of this program this is the program and this one is the output so here uh, we have to just change here change the message this is duplicate message multiplication right here we have to use multiplication message this message is same in previous example so multiplication of the list elements is 120 so this is the program and this one is the output this is the output so next question third write a python program to get the largest number from a list so largest number we have to print so we can use directly max max function so here this is my list and i copy this list in my separate program and here i perform max function so max returns maximum value from the list so here we will get value 5 so here just check so here largest element is 5 so this is the program and this one is the output next question write a python program to get smallest number from the list so just instead of max you have to write down mean so minimum value will be written from the list so here when i execute this program it will return sorry my message will be different so change it smallest number smallest number and now compile uh, execute it okay so now here a dot py so smallest number is written by mean function that is 2 so this is the program and this one is the output of smallest uh, program the next question is write a program for reverse a list so we have to reverse the list so first we have to create one list i created one list and just perform reverse operation on it so here i created one list and i perform reverse operation on a so now a is updated with reverse value so a is printed with reverse order so just check here this is my output so now a is printed 5 4 3 2 actual sequence was 2 3 4 5 but it is reverse now so 5 4 3 2 is updated so this one is the program and this is the output of that next question write a python program to find common items from two list so this program we can perform by using two ways so here first way is i use set function set function here i created two list a and b and here i perform set of set function and given parameter to a list and next function having parameter b and here and and operation is executed so what will happen when common elements are found in the list that will return okay so save this and execute it so now 2 and 4 elements are common so this is the first way or you can write down this program by using this way also so just check just check here i created same list and using for loop and inside for loop i use if if statement so inside for i in a means what i contains 
value of a list and now here I am checking if i in b so that i is stored inside b list I am checking here if it is true then that element will be printed okay so this is the another way to execute this common elements program so output is again 2 and 4 are common elements so so you can use any one method the next question write a python program to select the even items of a list so here just change the message i in b so here you have to mention i mod 2 so here we require single list only so here b list i will remove and here you have to mention if my value of i divisible by 2 so mod 2 and its remainder if 0 then this element is even element so here my message is even element so now that element will be printed so see here output so here 2 and 4 are printed so you can perform this by using this program and this one is the output so here we completed all seven programs and also practical related questions okay in next video we will see our next practical that is practical number seven please share this video with your friends so they can easily understand python programming thank you